Good morning everyone. It's Monday, August 16th. In five days, it's my birthday, August 21st. And a lot of you guys were asking me about my age. I am 22. <laughs> no, I'm not 22. I'm freaking 46 years old. Anyway, um, uh, if you follow my story, I, I, I did talk about a little bit more of that, which is I'm going to continue. Uh, my topic was mental focus. Uh, basically, it's I'm just going to, you know, talk about a bunch of stuff that are a lot of my followers are asking me, you know, contest prep, diet, workout, um, how I deal with this pandemic, coronavirus, uh, my da daily, uh, my daily lives. As you could see, uh, we are all going through uh, the process of um, r reality on how we handle. Uh, this coronavirus until now we are still not 100% uh, virus free so you know um, there will be depression there will be sadness suddenly especially for me I, I feel that if I don't work out I feel sad I feel uh, not myself uh, especially with this pandemic because you can't really do much you know like the things that you do next last year um, is different from this year you know last year I was uh, getting so excited preparing for my my birthday party and now it's simple just you know going to uh, Victoria I Island just gonna you know, go for afternoon tea stay one night at Vermont and that's about it um, lucky that I am healthy lucky that you know family are okay back home in the Philippines teammates are all good uh, it's healthy, basically healthy. Uh, let's talk about uh, competitors that are uh, prepping for competition for this year. Uh, let's talk about uh, mental focus, how you, you know, it's, it's, it's hard because first the coronavirus and you're prepping for the show and your show might get canceled show get moved and so on and so forth um, at the early on when they they said about this pandemic I when I came back from uh, my my Asia trip that was um, uh, February I already decided not to compete this year because it has to do with the way I prep, the way I uh, my my focus, my mental focus. Uh, I said to you guys before, if I will not be as good or as hardcore as last year's prep. Might as well, I won't do it this year. Um, and that that it's all about because I know myself that I am so hard on myself, and I always wanted to to give hundred and ten percent in all my contest prep. So. You're probably thinking, uh, 
why I'm not competing this year because a lot of a lot of my my uh, followers and a lot of my uh, like my gym bros ask me how come you're not competing this year you can compete basically all my the, the shows that I pick is United States and we can we I can't I can't go there and come back isolate myself for two weeks how am I able to work out with my coach to work out to go out you know you gotta stay home you gotta stay here but anyway uh, for a lot of you guys are prepping for shows six weeks six weeks six weeks on now or probably four weeks some of you guys just finished the show and did so well and some of you guys didn't do so well but you know what come see come sell you still you still prep you show up in your show you put on your hard work you train you diet you motivate yourself, you motivate others, and sometimes you ask yourself, why did you, you did not place? That happens all the time. You know, maybe it's not, it's not your, it's not your year, maybe you're not lean enough, you are not conditioned enough, you are not dry enough, everything factors. So. One show, don't give up. Don't get discouraged. Just keep going. Um, the same with uh, competitors that are still on prep. You know, you gotta just stay focused. Uh, what are your priorities? What you wanted? You wanna play, so you wanna just show up and just freaking show up and qualify and for me it doesn't work like that i want to show up i want to look good i want to show all my hard work i want to be 110 percent with my prep I'm able to do that is when you say that you are going to compete no matter what coronavirus or no coronavirus you want to compete you do it mental focus you focus on your goals you focus on your dial in dial in with your diet you focus on your workout your your training you wake up hungry you sleep hungry that's my secret I sleep very hungry pain and I wake up very hungry cardio 3 30 at the morning uh, by the time 4 I'm eating my oats basically you're just so hungry you just keep going and going and going and going and that everything in here the mental focus don't just say that oh you'll never know maybe no one's really gonna show up maybe just the three of us on the stage and I'm I already qualified if you are if you are thinking about doing that I think you should change your attitude. Contest prep. Attitude. Change your attitude. Last year you've been doing that. And this year you will probably say, you know what? I don't have to really push harder because no one's going to show up. No. you got to prove it. That uh, this, despite of this pandemic, coronavirus you know don't you want it to look so good in your show that you could say look even though I was tight with cash even though there's not much 
I could do because of this pandemic, I still gave 110% of everything. You want to look good. You want to be you want to be proud of yourself. Uh, yeah, you got to remember everything that you go through with your contest prep that you will remember how painful it is your knees, how hard it is to do cardio, how hard it is to swallow a freaking fishy tilapia. You know, you're running low of energy because you're your carbs are really low and all those stuff you know it's mental focus focus on giving hundred hundred and ten percent focus on being better focus on you against the best focus on that every time I step on the stage I look at myself I am ready I don't just say that shit my other opponent so good so good I don't have that in, in every time I, I do my contest prep every time I compete I don't I don't do that. I don't look at other people. I don't look at other competitors. I look at myself. I focus on myself. You know, the, the, the show day is I'm so happy. I'm just like, I would, I would definitely tell you this is true. 4%. I hate it, contest spread. I hate it. But I gotta do it. 11%. I love when I'm on stage. I love that. Harvesting trophies. They're calling me oh, uh, I'm a captain. You know, it's different with the pros because you're competing against the best of the world. So just to be in top 10, I would be so freaking happy. But again, my goal is to go to Olympia that's my goal that's my dream the same with my goal before I want to become a pro and I did it I became a pro so now things change you know I want to go a little bigger how am I gonna get bigger you gotta eat you gotta sleep early you gotta train harder You gotta do your mental focus. You gotta focus, focus, focus. Distraction, no distraction, no nothing. I focus on myself. I focus on my goal. How I will hit my goal is to freaking just focus. So anyway, it's the same with your everyday daily lives basically every day is trial every day it's like problem solving with your marriage with your relationship with work with a lot of things you know if you are that person that it's always easy that it's always like you know I'm gonna do it later or maybe a little bit later or maybe I'll just show up looking good if you're gonna be always like that off season you're fat off season you get distracted and when it's on season it's so hard for you to do it all again remember our muscle everything here this you, you make this in off season you know on season you're not building no more but you want to get shredded you want to get lean you want to be you know cut to perfection and 
don't don't think about your your putting on muscle. It's too late. You do it now. I have a longer off season. I have one year, basically one year, and all I do is eat and eat and eat, eat, train, sleep, basically. That's my goal. My goal is to go to Olympia, to be standing with the best athletes all over the world. And I'm not finished yet. I will not stop until I accomplish my goal. And once I accomplish my goal, then happy times. You know, the same with my, my, my cheating. I cheat here and there. But I don't let go. I don't let go. You can let go of your, you know, you've been hashtagging healthy lifestyle. You've been hashtagging motivation and stuff like that. But sometimes you you got to show your followers. You got to show your teammates. You got to show the people that ad admire you and you inspire them that you gotta set an ex a, a good example, like you, like me. I'm not saying I'm perfect, because last week I just I just had some bits of here and there. But Monday, I'm always like back to my meal prep. It's always the lifestyle. It's always gonna be like this. Uh, trials, some problems you will encounter that especially when just suddenly boom you'll never know financially oh bodybuilding it's not expensive oh no excuse me it's expensive bodybuilding is expensive very expensive the food your private uh, trainer uh, supplements all those stuff very expensive so how are you gonna do that you plan off season I plan how much food I'm gonna eat the same with uh, on season I train three times I eat the suit is very expensive all the stuff is expensive so I'm more on like I prepare myself and I prepare for the worst what could happen like what happened to me last year I was so ready to do New York Pro too but I got sick you gotta be prepared of the emotion, the depression, you know, you gotta know how to handle it. After the show, you gotta know what to expect because you're gonna be, if you don't do a reverse diet, you're gonna be a, like a beluga whale. I've seen so many beluga whale and I was in that too, but I learned, I learned my lesson you know experience learn from it if you don't learn from it you're a dodo bird seriously so I apply that in my life I apply that in my daily lives you know experience falling down getting depressed not so depressed that I need to take some medication and stuff like that I fight like you know during the pandemic I can't really work out the way I used to work out and I get depressed it's normal to get depressed but I talk about it I just did not just keep it in me I talk about it with my partner I talk about it with boo talk about it with my coach and I feel better after that and when I and and when I 
analyze and when I make changes that I said I'm gonna do it I'm gonna make some changes I don't want to get depressed I don't want to be like that I don't want to feel that again it feels good it feels good sometimes you are not alone sometimes you have a lot of people that you can count on you know it's like me <laughs> I'm super friendly you know I'm friendly and I'm, I like to help people and I like to I'm very approachable even with my teammates even my coach you know we get along sometimes she could be she could be hardcore but only when I'm in contest prep because what she's like a mama she wants what's best for me she wants what's best for the athletes you know what's best for you and with this, uh, with, with this contest prep, I can hear you, you know, I can relate on you. I can, because it's, it's, it's pretty hard to diet, to be in that 12%, 8% body fat, especially for female, you know, emotions, all those stuff. And I got some, 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 uh, male competitors too that you know they ask me here and there and we kind of we kind of like exchanges some ideas and and you know so i they advise me i and then i advise them and it's it's like a, it's nice to 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 learn from others it's nice to listen from others it's nice to share to others you know uh, sharing listening is very important uh, anyway I think that's about it I just just wanna share it with you that you are not alone I'm here for you Okie dokie. Just stay focused. Stay focused and stay strong. And if you think that this year is not for you, take a break. Think about it. Analyze things. Underwrite things. I learned that from my husband. Underwriting. Think about what you could bring next year. Maybe you need more rest or maybe you don't maybe you're just like me keep going and going and going until you succeed but my advice to you never give up on the opportunity because you don't know you don't want that what if what if and that's I hate the most what if you know for me right now there is no what if because the moment I decided no competition for me this year it's good for me it's gonna benefit me because I'm tiny I want to grow more I want to build more muscle but if you have this little voice what if I want to but but don't but 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 get up do it shake it and you said Maria is right go 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 follow your dreams show up show up in your shell and you'll never know there's no what if there's all there's only yes I can do it I can do it no matter what and you freaking stop lying that you're dieting because it shows that you are not when you said you are hundred percent I could see you stop lying okay that's why I'm hardcore when I coach you when I tell you what to do you do it 
because this is for your own good this is for you you listen listen put it in there don't put it out in there Maria is right stop being a baby stop being a pussy you're a beast you can do it you're already halfway there you can do it okay but it's in you it's in your heart you want to do it I'm not telling you you do it what's in you all right I hope this help I'm here for you 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 stop eating that fucking cookie stop it okie dokie I gotta go now. I'm gonna eat. Me and Boo are signing off. Keep the love. Mwah.